welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. YouTube. I uh, took a little few days off for the holiday and didn't make any videos, so now I'm back. My uh, plan today is to uh, remove this cord so that I can pull it out of the uh, case and I thought about doing that or just taking it, uh, testing it as it is, but I'll tell you what, it looks so bad, I don't even think it's worth testing. It's just, the, the components themselves don't look bad, the resistors, capacitors, they, they look like they haven't been affected, but all of this, uh, you know, I can't really see it, but it's corrosion. This whole area here on these, uh, uh, where the terminal strips, bolt to the uh, cage. They are obviously pretty corroded. And uh, like I said, I need to get this apart. Get this apart. And get it all so I can clean it up. It's just one step at a time, I guess, is the best, best way I can explain it. And I don't know if I, I, I made it clear or not, but this part part here is you see these black spots on these dark spots what do you want to call them I, I'm pretty sure that's from the battery acid um, and what happens is that just gets in everything it just and they've got them on this one too on the function switch and the range switch both so like I say it's just a good miracle if this thing works um, I don't know that it got into the uh, transformer itself. Um, it doesn't really look bad, but to tell you the truth, the one I found in, in the heat kit like that didn't didn't really look that bad. I guess I could test it and see basically what kind of what kind of voltage it, it puts out. At least that would tell me something, I guess. Um, I just don't know whether it's tried or not. If if something the corrosion is short shorted out of anything that might even that would probably uh, be not good for it. So what I'm thinking is maybe disconnect the transformer from where it connects to the circuit and then test it because I think that would be a, a far better way to do it because that just you know there's nothing drawing the transformer down or anything like that so. That would, uh, if the transformer's good, it works, that's fine. We can, we, you know, it, it's good. But uh, if not, I don't know. So what I'm going to do is be working on this uh, thing, and, and uh, I've got my soldering iron heating up. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is just uh, try to get this cord off first and go from there because... Uh, I need to, need to get this 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 separated. It's it's all too much too much crap here. So that's what I guess I'll be doing. I'm not sure I can do this with the soldering bowl back here.
Through there, keep it together. It's all the work goes. Oops. separated that's at least part of the problem solved let's see I need to separate the cord from the back of the cabinet in order to do that I want to take this up here strain relief I guess what you'd call that and undo this knot I can't believe how good that cord feels. It feels really good. I'll get that out of there. And all that can come through the back of the cabinet, I do believe. I hope. Uh, we've got KG 625 screws, such. Put that in there. Pull this through. This all separated. For you didn't see very good down in there. It's pretty filthy. Bottom of it's cake, cake, cake being done. Put that aside. 